Another border may have closed, but thanks to a deal between Panama and Mexico, a quicker route to the United States has now opened. After harrowing journeys, some taking months, these Cuban migrants are heading to the airport, where they'll finally be allowed to fly to the Mexico-U.S. border. I was really scared on the boat and in the jungle, and we're still really scared. Sometimes I ask the kids to forgive me for putting them through all of this. They've traveled by plane, boat, bus, and on foot, just to get to Panama. Instead of taking the quicker but risky boat ride directly to Florida and possibly being intercepted at sea, they're traveling through South and Central America to reach the United States. Since President Obama announced that the U.S. was restoring diplomatic relations with Cuba in 2014, there has been a surge to the border. Cubans are worried that they'll lose their privileged status, which gives them legal residency and a path to citizenship. Obama says there are no plans to repeal this 50-year-old law, but the Cubans keep coming. Earlier this week, the president of Panama closed the southern border with Colombia. Its neighbors to the north, Costa Rica and Nicaragua, have already done the same. We spoke about this during the summit of the Americas, a continent with open borders, but for those people who came legally. An estimated 4,000 migrants are now waiting to fly out of Panama. Many gather at this shopping mall. It's sad to see what they're going through. There's a lot of controversy in Panama and people saying things for and against them. For this family and so many others, one journey is nearing an end. And another, as American immigrants, is soon to begin. Natasha Ganem, Al Jazeera, David, Panama.